Hello everyone and welcome back to the Inter Milan career mode and we're kicking off today's episode with a game against Atalanta away. This will be a very tough game but hopefully we can build on our good progress in the league and also we'll be making some more transfers hopefully on this episode. Let's get into the game. Oh no! Good strike, good save from Danovic. Set piece here for Atalanta. Chips it in. Good header. Wide. Oh, it's gone for everyone! What a save from Danovic. No! Oh, he's offside. Thank God. No! Ah, oh, they scored. Yeah, that's what they deserve. I haven't had a single shot in this game. I've been playing that bad. What a strike. 1 0 to them. Jovetic. Oh, shoot wide. Good play from Bibiani. Oh, he's hit the post. That has to be one of the worst games I've ever played of FIFA. Two shots in target and I've played the entire game. They had five and they scored a brilliant goal. And Danovic kept it at nil-nil for long periods of time, but we were just awful. Absolutely awful. So depressing. Okay guys, Bilbao are still saying 4.5 million, so I'm just going to go with a counter off of five million pounds, see if that is enough. Okay guys, Kana Erkin wants, doesn't want to relocate, so I'm gonna offer him a little bit more money than what he wants, and uh, let's see if that is enough. And yes guys, Athletic Bilbao have accepted the five million counter offer and have decided to match it, and the deal is going ahead. So hopefully he can negotiate personal terms and we get some money for it. And yes guys, Kana Erkin accepted the pre-contract He'll be a squad rotation player for us, that's absolutely brilliant. Um, and he'll join us next season, so we can have one more free transfer for next season. Brilliant signing. And yes guys, Palacio has been sold for £5 million and we get £4.2 million into the transfer budget, that's absolutely incredible. Um, I don't think it will be enough to sign Leic since we already signed Erkin. We need about 60,000 in wages. So, 14 million pounds, 15 million pounds is our current budget. I don't think that would be enough to sign him, Lyich, on a permanent transfer, 15 million quid. Um, but we could try using someone in the deal, but we'll try that after this game against Carthy. Alright guys, we move into a game against Carpi. Um, let's try and bounce back from that horrible defeat to Atalanta. That was such a bad game. Hopefully we don't perform badly. Perisic played Branzanovic. Yes, he's made it 1-0. Our first shot on goal results in a goal. Brilliant. Jovetic plays it to Perisic on the wing here, who plays it to Van Krasovic. Shoots at the near post, that's a great finish from the midfielder. He's doing us that 1-0 lead already. Brilliant. Goal, he should be doing better. No! What a header! And the Guzman shoot play has done it. Counter attack here. We are on the counter attack here. Jovetic, oh Jovetic is brought down for a penalty. He held him off really well there Jovetic. Penalty and Akadi has got no hit card. Most of his goals have been penalties this season. Can he make it 2-0? Yes he can. We're 2-0 up already inside 21 minutes. And in the game against Atalanta we barely had a shot. We didn't, we didn't have a shot in the first half. But today we're 2-0 up. Bear in mind, Carpi are weaker opponents than Atalanta, but it doesn't matter, we are 2 0 up. Restarting at 2 0. Oh, brilliant balls 
by Cardi to Jovatic. What a save. Lilic on the rebound. Oh, he's been brought down again. What the hell is going on here? Lilic goes in for the volley. Fouled. Another penalty. We are so jammy, we are. Should Akadi take this? Actually, I'm going to give it to someone else because I don't want all Akadi's goals for the penalties. Let's give it to Jovatic. Let's go the same way this time, Jovatic. No, he saves it. Jovatic has missed two penalties this season. Very sick. Midel. Oh, nice shot. Good save. Miranda, the centre back. Shoots wide. They've lost the ball. Ooh, that is one cynical foul, that is. And it is a red card. That was one really bad foul from Lolo. Really bad foul, isn't this foul? Just hacks Zavaleta from behind. Really dangerous tackle. Red card, definitely. Ooh, Cardi. Oh my god, he's been brought down again. What the fuck is happening here? We are so jammy. This is penalty for this is. Cardi just runs into the box. And yeah, that is a definite penalty, but what the fuck is happening here? Right, I want to give it to Jovatic so he can redeem himself. Stefan Jovatic. Yes, he doesn't make the mistake this time. Scores the penalty. 3 0 against Carthy. It could be 4 because we should have scored a hat trick of penalties. But instead, we score 2. And Jovatic gets the third. I don't want, want Icardi to have too many penalty goals because that's a bit. You expect that more from, from a midfielder. Please. Anyway, 3 0. Gunacore, El Ghazi finishes it. Brilliant goal. Fantastic goal. Cardi, brilliant ball to Gunacore. Great stop by him. Great pass to El Ghazi. And El Ghazi finishes that up in the post. Brilliant finesse shot. 4 0 it finishes. Harris 6 nick the ball. Gunakore, Gunakore! Oh, right, the goal. What a way to come back from a defeat. Beating Carpi 4 0. Seven shots in tight, two for them. Stefan Jovetic was man of the match with uh, his goal, of course. Lajic had an assist. Gunakore came on and got an assist. Perisic had an assist. A really good performance and a clean sheet. Too. Alright guys, we're moving to the last game of the episode and it's in the Italian Cup quarterfinals against Juventus. This is a massive game. I've had to rotate the 11 a bit because we played three days ago against Carpi. But let's see if we can reach the semi-finals the Italian Cup. Oh, no, Tavaro's got it. Good save. Yeah. Passes to Medell. Oh, just over the bar. Medell. Oh, what a finish. What a finish from the CDM. Kozovic picks him out. He goes past Pogba and smashes it. Beating Buffon. Hits the post. He goes in. What a finish from the CDM. Incredible goal. He has scored some stunners this season, but Dow has given us a 1 0 lead in the quarterfinals of the Italian Cup. So that's Inter now. Stevan Jovic. Harry Meda. Vidal, brilliant ball into a Cardi! We are running right here against Juventus. Jovetic plays it to Medellin and Medell, what a ball into Akadi. Brilliant strength by Akadi. Shrug off the defender and that is an incredible goal. At the near post, beating Gianluigi Buffon like that. 
sensational. 2 0 into Milan. Oh, no. No, the Oh, 2 1. That was a really bad mistake, to be honest. Right. Look at that. I thought it had it, but it shoots in. So let me know. We restart the game. 2 1. Quick tempo to the passing. The opposition can't get the middle. Ooh, another good save. Just an issue with players being low on stamina. No! No! Oh, what a save, Andanovic. Dabala! Good save, Andanovic. Oh, what a pass. Gunakore, Gunakore! What a shot, what a save. Oh, Adair has nicked the ball. Adair, Adair! Oh, he's at the post. Get the rebound in! What the hell was that? Adair nicks the ball, hits the post, and Vulcania think that is just chests it right back to Adair, who then tucks it into the empty net. 3-1 into Milan. Pogba again! Shoots wide. Oh, Santon, what a move this is, what a run. Santon can cross it into the box. Adair heads right at Buffon. Round of defenders, crosses it in to Branzanovic, who shoots over. Oh, and Lamina shoots wide. And what a victory, guys. 3-1 against Juventus in the Italian Cup quarterfinals. Six shots on target, three goals. That third one was a really dodgy one, though. But Gary Medell, he was actually sensational in the midfield. And Danovic was man the match, though. But Medell got goal and assist, and Icardi scored a really nice goal too. Anyway, let's move on to some more transfers. Anyway guys, that's the end of the episode. Uh, well, it started off really badly of course with that defeat to Atalanta. Then we signed Kana Erkin on a pre-contract. Then we beat um, Carthy. And then we beat Juventus very convincingly. So, Overall, it started bad and ended on a high this episode. Anyway, and those results have still left us third in the table, level on points with Roma. But the gap I'm most concerned about is the gap between us and Atalanta, because we don't want to drop out of the European places. We're not going to win the league. No way. But we are pretty decent. We've only suffered two defeats all season. We have a very similar record, actually, to Roma and Napoli. But, that is the end of the episode, and there probably won't be any more transfer action because transfer deadline day and the Milan derby is in the next episode. That is incredible. In terms of transfers, Kana Erkin and Telus were the main bit of business. And, uh, yeah, everyone else... There's no one else available in a pre-contract we could sign, apart from... Zathani Pinovic, but I don't want him back because that's a bit too unrealistic. Um, but the whole thing with Liic, we have 15 million quid. We could possibly sign him on transfer deadline day. I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyway, we'll see what happens in the next episode. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. And if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more Inter Milan or West Ham Crema content. And I'll see you in the next episode.